Forget everything you thought you knew about robots, because today we're throwing two absolute monsters into the ring. One's a walking robot bike that's got the internet going crazy. The other, a rolling beast of a robot dog that looks like it escaped from a video game. This isn't science fiction, this is Kawasaki Corleo vs. Unitree B2W, and it's the wildest robot face-off you didn't know you needed. Let's dive in, and no, we're not starting with the usual Hello Guys intro, we're going straight into the madness. First up, Kawasaki's Corleo, the walking machine. You can ride, Corleo doesn't roll, it walks on four robotic legs, with hooves. And get this, you ride it like a futuristic horse made of steel. No handlebars, no joystick. You lean forward, it moves. You shift your weight, it turns. This thing listens to your body like a creature that understands you. Powered by a 150cc hydrogen engine, Corleo runs electric motors in each leg. It's quiet, it's clean, and it moves with intent. Each step feels like the ground respects it. The legs bend, stretch, and stomp like they've got muscle. The hooves, they're split and rubberized, grabbing onto rocks, slopes, even stairs. Corleo doesn't ride the road, it owns terrain. It's like Kawasaki took a motorcycle, gave it legs, and told it to forget about roads altogether. Now meet Unitree B2W, the speed demon with wheels and legs. If Corleo is a tank that walks, the B2W is a rocket with four legs and wheels. Built by Unitree Robotics, this dog-shaped robot isn't here to follow you around politely. It's fast. We're talking 6.5 meters per second. That's faster than most people sprint. It's a hybrid robot with legs and wheels. That means it can run, skate, climb, spin, whatever the situation needs. But don't let the wheels fool you. B2W can also walk, hop, and balance on uneven terrain. It blends the agility of a robot dog with the speed of a rollerblading ninja. It's equipped with cameras, sensors, and muscle-like joints that respond in real time. And unlike Corleo, which was made for riding, B2W was built for action, surveillance, and high-speed movement. Now here's where things get spicy. Corleo walks like a creature from another world. It's meant for humans to ride. It moves with weight, like it's part of the ground it walks on. It doesn't rush. It climbs, it carries, and it connects with the rider through body movement. No controller needed. B2W, it's the opposite. This thing blasts forward, turns on a dime, and can even do backflips if pushed. It's made for speed and missions. Spot a moving object? B2W can chase. Need to follow a path fast? B2W rolls. Need to stop instantly and balance on stairs. B2W adjusts. It's not rideable, but it's way faster and way more agile. So the real question is, what do you value more, control or speed? Let's keep this human. Corleo runs on hydrogen and electric motors. It's built for hours of movement across rugged ground. It's not your average electric scooter. This thing was shown off by Kawasaki as a vision of 2050. A world where your bike doesn't roll. It walks. B2W runs on lithium batteries and a heavy-duty joint system. It's got AI sensors that help it dodge, jump, and even recover from falls. It's lighter, faster, and way more nimble. But don't expect to hop on for a ride. Corleo is all about experience. B2W is all about performance. So, who wins? Honestly, that depends on what you want out of your robot. Want to feel like you're riding a machine from the future that walks beside cliffs and stomps over anything in its path? Corleo is your beast. Want something that can chase, race, balance, and turn like it's in a robot Olympics? B2W is your speed demon. What do you think? Would you rather ride the walking bike or command the wheeled dog? Let me know in the comments. I'm reading every one. Smash that like button if this showdown blew your mind. And don't forget to subscribe to Technology XAI because this isn't the end of robot battles. It's just the beginning. The future doesn't just roll forward. Sometimes it walks and sometimes it runs on wheels.